So I want to talk about uh, running shoes and the marketing that goes into running shoes and how you need to be a little bit more conscious of, of how equipment can help you in your athletics, but in reality it's a very, very small percent of what's going to come down to your performance, to your risk of being injured, um, and also comfort. Uh, let's take, for example, uh, lightweight running shoes for that are used for racing. Uh, a lot of the athletic companies market lightweight uh, racing flats, light shoes that are specified for five kilometers, 10 kilometers, uh, half marathon, marathon shoes. Um, and they're usually pretty obsessed with the weight of the shoe. Now, yes, the weight of a shoe will influence or have some type of uh, factor in how how much energy it takes to pick up your foot and and get it back on the ground. The lighter shoe is less load on your muscles. But when you consider that your training shoe might weigh, let's say, ten and a half ounces, and uh, let's say a five kilometer racing flat might weigh seven ounces or even six and a half ounces. You know, the four ounces of weight that you're talking about saving is is something that you really shouldn't be so concerned about. Because consider this, if you have 10% body fat and you're a male, you're carrying around, if let's say you weigh 150 pounds, you're gonna be carrying around more than 10 pounds of dead weight. Now, I don't know what that converts to to how many ounces or how many extra pairs of shoes that you're physically carrying on your body trying to run in a five kilometer race. But I can tell you that before you start thinking and obsessing about shoes and about shoes being lightweight, think about losing the pounds of body fat on your, on your frame that will translate into exceptionally faster times and less risk of injury. Uh, and, and these are the things that you need to be aware of when you want to increase your performance. Um, the shoe companies have uh, no interest in telling you to lose body fat. They, they want you to buy their shoes. And, and I guess it's, um, it's unfortunate that we think that the shoes can make us run faster where uh, the shoes really don't do anything for you. Uh, the best African runners in the world usually train up until they're in their teenage years completely barefoot. And the reason they don't get injured as often is because they're a lot lighter um, than the typical American or Western uh, athletes. So fruitarianism is how I uh, stay very lean. It's how I perform well. Now, since becoming a fruitarian, I have not had a, a running related injury whatsoever. Um, and that's with throwing all kinds of loads and workouts uh, in my routine. I still can't seem to come down with an injury. And it's because my body fat has always been below 5%. It's usually around 3%. So racing flats are good for somebody like me uh, because I already have a lean body frame uh, and racing flats can help somewhat. But at the end of the day, you got to look at your body composition and say, what can I do to get lean? Because that's what's going to make me faster and feel better and be, have less risk for injury. So that's what I want to say about shoes.